Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Melinda. So in today's video, I am going to be sharing with you guys my 2020 wavy hair favorite. So if you're new to my channel, I do have naturally wavy hair. My hair is like 2A slash 2B. It's a pretty loose wave um, from all my bleach damage. So I have rounded up quite a few products that I have really been loving all year, literally. Um, a lot of these are going to be repeats from my June favorites. Yeah, they're just really amazing. I've been using them, most of them, like nonstop, and a lot of these are like pretty much empty um, because I love them. So let's go ahead and get into it if you're interested in hearing what my yearly favorites have been then just keep watching okay so i'm gonna try and go in the order that you put them in your hair so like wash so like shampoo conditioner first and then styling products also i have a few products in a few of the categories that are going to be like honorable mentions because i haven't been using them as long like i just tried them more recently but they're really good and i think i'm going to love them because so far i'm like really liking them but i don't want to fully say it's like a yearly favorite because they're pretty recent but anyways i'll tell you which products those are though so let's go ahead and get started with the first shampoo and conditioner so the entire redken extreme line is like my lifesaver if you guys are new to my channel i basically severely bleach damaged my hair several months ago at this point but i will link that video in the cards explaining like what i did to my hair but it was like seriously completely breaking off even just rubbing my hair like this my hair was literally falling out because i damaged it so badly so my friend tammy actually recommended that i try the redken extreme line so basically this whole line has a lot of protein in it i have the shampoo conditioner and and the leave-in conditioner I love all of these so this seriously saved my hair after using this whole line for probably like a month maybe a month and a half my hair like completely stopped breaking off pretty much and it was amazing it worked so quickly I absolutely love this stuff it seriously all works so well the only thing I will say if you do have finer hair or even just like not extremely dry hair I would be careful putting this conditioner super close to your roots this is the leave-in because if I over applied it too close to my scalp it would make my hair a little bit greasy but all this stuff seriously works so well and it literally saved my hair so if you have extremely damaged and like bleach damage and breaking off hair i would highly highly recommend that entire line i love it i used it i was obsessed with it i haven't really needed to use it as much recently just because i have gotten my hair a lot healthier but it seriously saved my hair so highly recommend love it so the next shampoo i want to mention is this suave daily clarifying shampoo so i use this when i was stripping out my hair color whenever i was ready to go to the next color and this just worked really really well you can also use this if you just have like a lot of product build up on your hair you can wash your hair with this and it'll kind of like get all of that product that's really stuck in your hair out and yeah i think it's just really good it's like two or three dollars from walmart so i really like this i wouldn't use this every day though it would probably dry your hair out a lot whenever i was using this i made sure to follow it up with a like deep conditioner or something but um if you're stripping color this works really really well so okay so this next little set of products is my honorable mention for shampoo and conditioner because i just tried it I, you guys i've only used this one time but i really liked it i was so impressed so we dad actually sent me i think that's how you say their name they actually sent me their new ish line of products that are specifically for wavy hair this is the shampoo and the conditioner i seriously like this so much so i tried all the products i think it was like four styling products or something and then these two but these really, really stuck out to me. So what I like about this is mainly the consistency and the scent. I've used a lot of shampoos that are like either way too runny and they literally just like drip through your fingers or on the other side, they're like way too thick and creamy and they're almost like hard to spread throughout your hair. So you have to use a lot more of them. This one is literally a perfect in between. It's not too runny and it's not too thick. It spreads so easily and I don't have to go back and use like freaking a million pumps of it, which drives me nuts. So yeah, I just love this consistency. It's so perfect. I love that it like lathered up really well, but it didn't make my hair feel like super dried out or anything. So as far as the scent goes, it's actually kind of weird because when I first smelled these products, 
I didn't love the scent. The best way I can describe it is like more of a mature scent. It kind of smells like very perfumey almost. And I didn't like that at first, but after I used it, the way it smelled in my hair, I actually really, really enjoyed it. So that was really nice. As far as the conditioner goes, this stuff is so like, again, it's just the perfect consistency where it's not a super like runny and watery conditioner, but it's not so thick that it almost feels like a um, deep conditioning mask where it's like hard to spread through your hair. This is just the perfect milky, creamy consistency that just feels very luxurious. Both of these just feel very luxurious in your hair, which um, they probably are more expensive. I'm just used to using like more drugstore products, but I was just so impressed with the quality and yeah, I really, really like these. I couldn't figure out how to open this pump bottle though. I have been struggling with these weird little twisty tops where it's like, turn this way to open. Oh wait, is that open? No, that's locked. I just cannot get these stupid things to work. Am I dumb? I don't know, can't get it. Anyways, on to the next. My favorite, absolute favorite hydrating deep conditioning mask is the Redken All Soft Mega Mask. I know you guys have heard me talk about a lot of these products throughout the year, but obviously these are my favorite. So there's gonna be a lot of repeats, but you guys, this is so good. If you have like really dry and frizzy hair that needs moisture, this is amazing. This was the first deep conditioning mask that I ever tried that I actually noticed a difference in my hair after like the first use, no joke. It is seriously so good. Your hair is so soft and feels healthier after. Like I'm just used to using a lot of like cheaper drugstore masks and they really, just don't do anything to be really honest so um I prefer cheaper products to you guys but at the end of the day I want to use what works and this seriously works so well I cannot recommend it enough if your hair is dry you need this on the other hand oh frick if your hair is really damaged or kind of like limp and needs a little bit of a boost like you want to enhance your curls or get more definition the brio geo don't despair repair mask is popular for a reason guys it's really really good yeah this just works so well at just giving my hair like a lot of definition and separation, but it also helps like enhance my curls and make it tighter. I don't notice it like making my hair noticeably softer, but this does do a great job at just giving my hair, I'm pretty sure this has protein in it. So that would make sense why it kind of like gives me definition. Um, Yeah, this is just really good. What does it smell like? Oh yeah, that's kind of nice. I like that. Um, Yeah, Brio Geo. 10 out of 10. Okay, another honorable mention for deep conditioners because I've only used this two times, I think, but you guys, it's really, really good. So this is the Love Your Curls Deep Condition and Repair Mask, I guess. This made my hair feel so freaking soft. Like even Brian commented on how soft my hair felt. I just love this. It is so thick and creamy and like everything you want a deep conditioner to feel like it it's like I just love it for my regular detangling conditioners I want them to be a little bit on the thinner side like easy to work through my hair and help to detangle but for a deep conditioning mask I really want it to be like a super thick consistency where if I like held it up on my hand it would not fall off like and this is that it's so thick and creamy and it makes my hair feel so soft and I think I'm really gonna love this. Like I said, I've only used it twice so far, but both times I've noticed that my hair looks so soft and it's really good. The only thing I will say is the scent. I'm really not a fan of scent. Scent is such a big deal to me. Like I will literally buy a product just for the scent of it. I actually have a few products like that. And this scent, it literally, you guys, it smells like diapers or like freaking baby wipes or something. I'm not into the scent. Luckily it doesn't linger in my hair, but that just sucks. Obviously I like a product where I can enjoy the scent. It kind of adds to the experience of it. This doesn't do that for me, but it does like, do what it's supposed to do, which is make my hair feel super soft and luxurious. So we'll give her a pass. Okay. On to leave-in conditioners. This Pureology, what's this called? 21 Essential Benefits Color Fanatic 
leave-in spray. This is so good, y'all. When my hair was just like fried and frizzy on the ends, no matter how much product I put in my hair, it would literally always dry frizzy just because it was so damaged. Between using this and this leave-in, or no, and this um, deep conditioner by Redken, y'all, my ends weren't drying frizzy for the first time in like several months. So again, this was back when my hair was really damaged, but I'll still use it every once in a while if I just want like some extra moisture at my ends. But I I just love this. It literally makes my hair feel so soft. I notice a difference after using this one time. If you have like really frizzy dry ends, I would definitely recommend this. So what I like to do basically for my styling routines and my wash days is if I use a deep conditioning mask in the shower that has protein in it, then I'll use a leave-in that doesn't have protein and then vice versa so for example if I use this Brio Geo deep conditioning mask again I'm pretty sure this has protein in it then I will make sure that my leave-in doesn't have protein does this have protein I'm actually bad at reading ingredients you know it actually could but what I really noticed with this is that it makes my hair softer. So I do try to balance that. Like, like what I wouldn't do is use this Brio Geo mask and then use this Redken Extreme Anti-Snap as my leave-in just because both of these have protein. Both of these really focus on repairing your hair and that might would make my hair feel a little bit like dry and brittle. So I always try to balance out my wash days with like a protein mask and a really hydrating leave-in or a hydrating mask and then a protein leave-in. So that's just a little tip. That's what I try to do. You guys, I am so sorry about this lighting going in and out. Like it's driving me nuts. I'm sorry if you haven't noticed it. Now I'm pointing it out. Now you're gonna notice it, but it's driving me insane. I worked with my stupid setup for like a freaking hour trying to get everything right. It looks like I filmed this video on an iPhone with how much the exposure is changing. I didn't. I have a nice camera and freaking brand new box lights and I'm just trying to get the hang of it. So I'm so sorry that it's like getting brighter and darker and I'm sorry. I'm going to get better. Just... I'm sorry. The next leave-in conditioner that I use, I'm sure you guys can all guess what it is. It's a Kinky Curly Not Today Leave-In Detangler. This is amazing. This does not have protein in it. If your hair is protein sensitive, a lot of people can't use protein. I rave about protein. I think it's great for wavy hair in general. I think a lot of wavy haired girls tend to neglect protein and they really can make their hair be like over moisturized, which causes frizz and limp curls. However, my hair also needs a little bit more protein even than those people just because it is so damaged and bleached but if you can't do protein this is amazing this will enhance your curls like a protein leave-in would but without the protein in. so this will basically give you more definition and make your curls a little bit tighter which I love and it's also just really hydrating I always 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 include a leave-in conditioner in my wash day or in my styling routine that's just my favorite way to style my hair is with a leave-in conditioner and then a gel and this is just a great one I honestly recommend this one to pretty much everyone like if you're gonna pick between these two I would honestly go with this one I mean it really depends what you want if your hair is super dry and frizzy go with this one if your hair is really like limp and you want your curls or your waves to be a little bit tighter I'd go with this one so Kind of pick what you want these are both amazing though i love this one this is like my fourth bottle of this it's ridiculous and it'll last you forever because i only use like this much for all my hair like i think that lasts me like probably six to eight months honestly the next thing is gel so i just have two the first one is the la looks extreme sports gel this is just such a good gel you guys it's so cheap it works great it gives me like a really nice gel cast it seals in all of my moisture and my frizz and it's really easy to break off the gel cast. Like it doesn't really get too crispy. You have to like really, really put a lot in your hair for it to get like too crispy, but it just does such a good job. It's my favorite gel. I'll probably never like, I was gonna say I'll never buy another gel, but I love trying new products so much. That's probably a lie, but you really don't need to because it's so cheap. It's a, a ginormous bottle. It takes so long to go through. Like this is just good. If you're looking for a good gel, get this. It's phenomenal. My next thing, of course, is the 
Catwalk Curls Rock Amplifier. This is amazing. I have been using it for years, literally like 10 years, no joke. And so many of you guys have messaged me saying that you tried this and you're obsessed and it's completely changed your hair. You guys, it's so good. So it's called a Curls Rock Amplifier. It really does amplify your curl. So what that means is it's just gonna make your curl a little bit tighter than what it normally is. It gives me great separation in my curls. So a lot of definition, like it's just so good. It's so simple. Honestly, when you have wavy hair, I think the best combination is just a leave-in conditioner and then a nice gel to seal it in. And you will have moisture and definition and tighter curls with this little combo. Like it's really all you need. It can be so simple. It's amazing. Love it. Obviously, these are my favorites, hello. Okay, so just a few more things. I have a few like scented hairsprays that I really, really love. After I bleached my hair, my hair got really damaged and it became very porous. And I was noticing that it was absorbing like any and all smells and it was driving me nuts. Like I could literally wash my hair and then go outside for a few hours and my hair would just smell like outside and it would completely lose that shampoo smell. And it was seriously irritating me because I. I feel like if my hair doesn't smell clean, I don't feel like it's clean. So that would just like drive me crazy. Or if I was like cooking anything in the kitchen, my hair would smell like burnt food. And that's freaking gross. No one wants that, obviously. So anyways, I didn't want to have to wash my hair after every single activity, literally. So instead, I started using these little hairsprays. So this is the first one by Lang Hair. I don't think that's how you pronounce that name, but I don't really know how to say it. So this is the spray laminate. So what it does is it adds like shine to your hair and it makes your hair look very like slick and shiny and healthy. Um, I will say you want to be careful with this. You don't want to overdo it because it can start inching towards like looking a little bit greasy. So I don't do a lot of this literally just like one spray per section. So what this does is it says it adds shine, it softens, it protects. It has jojoba seed oil, vitamin E, and it's a UV protectant. So it's supposed to protect your hair from like the sun and just like prevent damage, I guess. But I honestly just use this for the scent of it. Like it's literally so good, you guys. It's like, I'm bad at describing scents, but it's very fruity. It's almost like a strawberry or like watermelon scent. I love this. Dude, it seriously smells so freaking good. And so if my hair is like a little bit questionable, I'll just like spray some right here pretty much. Cause like I can smell that. And then if I hug someone, that's what they smell too. You know, I know I'm a genius, you're welcome. But yeah, this is just really good. So it smells great and it also benefits your hair. So that's pretty cool. You're welcome. The next scented thing is this Shea Moisture On The Go Conditioning Hair Fragrance. So this has sea kelp and argan oil. It says replace unwanted aromas with just one or two spritzes of this wearable sensuous signature. That's a lot of S's. Sensuous signature scent reminiscent of lush spices and understated luxury. I would describe this scent as more of like a spicy scent, but it's really good. It's not like... Let me smell. Yeah, it's not like over the top. I think that that description is pretty perfect actually. Lush spices and understated luxury because it's not it's not like too intense and in your face and it's like gonna give you a headache. It's just really nice. It smells very like spices, kind of like the fall honestly, but yeah, it's really good and it's like oily. So again, this does have oil in it though, so I wouldn't go like overboard with it, but as opposed to like just spraying like a perfume in your hair, perfumes and like body sprays typically have alcohol in them. So those will dry your hair out, whereas this is actually actually gonna moisturize your hair. So if your hair is looking a little bit frizzy, this will help like kind of smooth it down and everything. Um, and it also has the added benefit of smelling delicious. So that's great. Two more things. Okay, sorry if the camera angle changed. My battery died, I had to switch it up. Two more things and then we're done. The next thing that I use as like a hair scent is this Argan Oil by the brand Heritage. I think it's called the Take Your Vitamins Argan Oil. This is actually a drugstore brand and I think all of their products products are only seven bucks a piece, which is crazy. You can get it at Walmart. Heritage actually sent this to me, which was really freaking sweet. But basically I literally just use this for the scent. You guys, it smells like fall in a bottle. It is so freaking good. And the bottle's pink. I don't know if you can even tell beside my pink sweatshirt, but it's like a muted pink. All the packaging is like 
very like muted tones and it's so cute it'll look really cute in your bathroom that's what matters right but you guys the scent of this is amazing and if you want an argan oil um go ahead and try this i, I haven't noticed a difference for with like it actually benefiting my hair i'll be honest but um since it's an oil it does like smooth my hair down a little bit and kind of seal in some of the frizz again you don't want to go overboard with an oil and like make your hair look greasy but i really just use this for the scent all of their products smell so freaking good i I literally use a shampoo and conditioner just for the scent and same thing with this like oh my gosh I didn't think I was gonna like it at first but the more I used it the more I was like excuse me like it smells like a fall candle and I love it it's just very like what is it it just smells like spices and deliciousness I don't know go to Walmart and have a sniff because it's freaking good all right that's all you need to know okay last thing is hair dye as you guys know I have a lot of fun with dyeing my hair a bunch of different colors this year so I pretty much used like all arctic box colors at least in the beginning so I used virgin pink I used rose I used electric paradise I used sunset orange and then I moved on to a different brand pulp riot and I did like a burgundy and then I did a maroon so so out of all of that, my favorite hair dye that I used as far as the quality of it was definitely the virgin pink. So the reason this is my favorite is just because it lasts so incredibly well in my hair. I was beyond impressed. I have a whole video up on my channel of just my full review and thoughts on this, but basically it literally didn't fade at all for like six washes. And after the sixth wash, I literally could just see like the tiniest little bit on the top, just like get half a shade lighter and that was it. It was just amazing and I also felt like it faded really evenly which I love and also what I like about this is if you don't want it to be this like super bold like aggressive pink you can dilute this and if you dilute it you can actually make the exact shade of their pastel shade Frosé. I tested this out because I did have both colors so I poured a little bit of Frosé in a bowl and then I just diluted this and tried to match the color and I literally got it spot on so if you just like really really dilute this you can get like this much conditioner and a teeny little pea sized drop of this and it will pretty much be a spot on dupe for Frosé. So if you want pastel pink hair, I would highly recommend just getting this. This bottle and a bottle of Frosé are the same price, but this will last you so much longer because you only have to use a little pea sized amount to get the exact same pastel pink shade. And I did that. I used this whenever I wanted to have my like pastel hair. I also did try Frosé. They both worked great. The actual Frosé may have lasted a little bit longer, but it's still gonna fade pretty fast if you are using it as a pastel but if you use just like the full color dude it lasts forever i was very impressed loved it so yeah guys that completes this video i feel like this was probably so freaking long um but i had a lot of products i really want to share with you guys and just tell you about how much i love them i definitely recommend every single one of these products that i talked about i'm excited to continue trying new products too i have a bunch of products in my closet right now that I'm like trying to work my way through that a few different brands have sent me and I'm excited to keep trying those so I can recommend more great products to you guys as I find them so yeah definitely leave your favorites down below though but whenever I see like a bunch of people recommending the same product I like go out and buy it immediately so please make sure to comment a product even if you see that someone else already commented it comment it again because if I see it twice I'm like okay sold must be the best product ever and I'll literally go buy it and try it so please comment your favorites too i love finding good products it's so fun for me i love like experimenting with my hair yeah so thank you guys so much for watching i really hope that this was helpful hopefully you discovered some new products and maybe you'll go try them definitely let me know your thoughts if you have tried any of these and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you want to. Also, if you want to follow me on Instagram, I actually have my just like everything page where it's just like lifestyle, hair, makeup, just whatever I'm doing. But now I have a full Instagram page just dedicated to my wavy hair. And I'm actually kind of doing like 15 days of waves where I show you guys what my hair looks like every single day so you guys can see the good hair days and the bad hair days and then how I style accordingly. So if that interests you, definitely go follow either or both of those pages. And yeah, okay, that's it. Bye guys.